So today I want to talk about <clears throat> this topic, which could seem a little out there, but I'm going to give you some context, okay? Because I'm seeing it happening uh, over and over again. Let's talk about getting used to status quo, all right? What do I mean by that, getting used to status quo? So last week, I went to, uh, to a mini clinic because I was having some, uh, just having a little bit of cough and then maybe a little bit of runny nose and I can still breathe. So I don't think I need a nose spray, okay? And I said, my congestion is not so bad. I know that when I have allergy and I have congestion and it's caused by allergies, I simply cannot breathe. Like I will be like almost dying, okay? Out of breath. But I wasn't feeling that way. So I said that, you know, I'm not so congested. Yeah, yeah, it's inflamed, but I'm not so congested. And I don't need to use the nose spray. And she, and she turned around, she looked at me, she said, oh, honey, you are so used to not breathing freely and normally. You have gotten used to breathing with congestion. And it, I, I let it sink in. Like there was silence for like 10 seconds. And then I just burst out laughing. And I said, so what you're trying to tell me is I'm so used to being congested and I got used to breathing it this way that I don't even know, I don't even remember what it's like to breathe freely like a regular person who doesn't have inflammation of the nose. And she says, yup. And immediately, it just hit me like a ton of bricks that, oh my God, May, you have not been breathing normally all this time. When, when this news was given to me in that office, immediately, I saw things in the bigger picture that where, where else in my life am I living at 98% and not 100% that I am just dealing with it because it doesn't require immediate remedy. It doesn't require immediate change of a course of action because I can still deal with it. It is still tolerable. So I don't need to breathe 100%. I can leave breathing 98%. So I ask myself, may your silvers, is this how you want to live life? Is this how you show up in your business? When you know that you can show up 100%, but you only show up 98%? Do you, when you know that you can give 100%, but you only show up 98%, because it's so much easier to show up at 98% than 100%. When in my head, how much more difference does it make? if I can breathe 100% versus 98%, I'm not breathing that bad. I'm breathing okay. So I hesitate to take that, that flowness, okay? But then, of course, knowing me, I'm an all-in girl, 100% girl. And let's flip back into the business. I'm pretty sure if my business coach come in and really audit everything that I'm doing, she will be like, man, you're showing up at 75%. <laughs> you can be 100%. What is going on here? So when that whole office visit made me rethink, how am I living my life personally uh, in terms of health-wise, in terms of lifestyle, in, in terms of being fully present, in terms of what I'm doing for my business? Am I also breathing at 98% instead of 100%? And then I realized that, oh my God, I'm not the only person. I have a girlfriend who has been dealing with this pain in, in one part of her body and she's been dealing with it for almost a couple of years until it gets to a point that it became intolerable. Then she seek out treatments after talking to several doctors. She finally found a doctor who was able to cure her of the pain that she thought that it was normal. This is the new way, like a new normal, right? In COVID, new normal to wear masks. 
until finally we take off our mask and we'll be like, wow, so much better to breathe without the mask because we can breathe freely. So it's like we are depriving ourselves to live at our fullest potential. We're depriving us in or subconsciously blocking ourselves to show up at 100% because we thought that the difference between 100% and the 98% is not that great. In reality, it is. Now, the moral of today's episode is to really bring your awareness to where are you in your life that you are staying at status quo. That you think that status quo is actually the way that life is supposed to be. Status quo to live paycheck to paycheck. Status quo to put yourself as the last person to take care of. Status quo to live with the pain. Status quo to let your business be the way it is because you're just, you already exhausted all your resources. A, a YouTube video, a motivational video that I saw that I share with my clients or and also past clients who came to my in-person event on December 2nd last year, that this person was saying in the video, yes, you said that you have tried everything to grow as a person and in your business. You have tried everything, but you're still status quo. You're not seeing any results. You say you tried this, you tried so hard, you tried many times, you failed so many times, you know, you tried so hard. But have you tried not giving up? 